Welcome to Bamford Rose and another question of the week. This week it's abnormal noises on carbon ceramic brakes. We have here a completely worn out destroyed disc. We have here a completely brand new never fitted to a car disc. So first type of noise you could get and if you bought the car and it already had the discs brakes fitted and it was quite some time ago and it's got this particular type of noise then it could have this noise even though that period of, of time is quite long. This will be because the brakes have never been bedded in properly and that's, it, it's difficult for a new disc not to be bedded in because you can only buy a new disc from the factory pre-bedded to a pad so you get a pair of pads and a disc. But if you're changing pads halfway through disc wear, because the pads are low but the disc is fine, then the pads need bedded in and there's quite a difficult cycle needed to bed pads in properly. If you gradually take the disc up to temperature and then arduously use the brakes to the point of brake fade in a controlled way without temperature spiking too quickly the assembly, then no matter what procedure is specified, that's good enough. So to get brake fade on carbon ceramic brakes is extremely difficult. It's gonna take a number of accelerations up to speed and deceleration back down again and keep doing and keep doing until the point on that final cycle you put the brakes on and you've got no brakes whatsoever, it's complete brake fade. At that point, the, the brakes are bedded in. If it's a new assembly, you get smoke coming out of all four corners and you get this smell like TCP. That's the chemical reaction of the bedding in process that sets about a transfer layer between the pad and the disc. So cause of squealing and often accompanied by poor brake performance is going to be pads that aren't bedded in properly. Now when these are installed in the caliper you probably see there that there's some whiting of the edge where the pad would be touching the disc. That's indicative that the pad is bedded in properly because you get that white witness mark when the pads have been up to sufficient temperature. If you're looking at discs and they've got none of that edging around the outside, chances are the pad is not bedded in properly. What that is probably accompanied with, because the system isn't working properly, is a rough to touch surface of the disc. So really the disc should be a mirror to touch, very smooth. And if the assembly needs a new bedding in process, then as you can probably see from this disc, it's extremely rough. I can almost hear the glove picking up on the surface where that should be a mirror and you hear none of the sort of grating sound. So that's probably accompanied as well if it's whistling with a real gravelly type sound instead of the normal air gush type sound you get when everything is good. So squeal for pads that aren't bedded in properly or discs that's too rough surface. The next will be squealing just because it's a fresh pad on a new disc and the disc has got some wear characteristics which cause the pad to contact and whistle against. I mean, this is a perennial problem. Uh, there are numerous problems really with carbon ceramic brakes and is why on new cars the factory reverted back to steel. Um, obviously for marketing, for styling, these are very good, but practicality, they're, they're quite difficult things to live with especially if you have to fix them because they're very expensive things to fix. So in the case of squealing, and then you wouldn't be getting the gravelly type sound and the, and the disc would probably look um, um, or feel a mirror to touch. It's possible to, on the leading edge of the pad, make a chamfer and then there are some anti-squeal compounds that will go on the back of the pad. I'm not a fan of those, but that is a factory service bulletin. Next type of noise, I wouldn't say this is a squealing noise, but anything is possible, 
this is where the phosphor bronze pins that mount the pad to the backing plate wear through and this set is exactly at that point in time and the point in which the pins rub through is actually before the wear indicator would come on. So when the pins start to rub through, probably when the factory was developing this, uh, they thought that pins protruding and rubbing on the disc wouldn't be a problem, but after years of heat cycling, those pins have gone quite hard, and now the pins protruding through causes a problem. You often get a circular sort of wear mark around the circumference. You can often hear that as a t -t 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 as the locating pin is acting against these cooling holes. I've never heard that as a squealing. So those are the types of sounds that you can get from these brakes and what the typical causes are. I mean, if you're looking to buy a car or you have got a car and it's got some abnormal noises, efficiency is a bit poor, best thing you can do is run it through a thermal reconditioning cycle, get the brakes really, really hot, and uh, that will help create a transfer layer between the disc and the pad, try and return a disc with a rough surface back to a mirror to touch surface, hopefully improve efficiency and get rid of noise, but getting to the bottom of a squealing noise can, can be a real pain and sometimes you repair, replace everything, put leading edges on the pads, put some compound, anti-squeal compound on the back of the pad and never going to alter the squealing. Root cause is more than likely the disc and obviously it's very expensive to replace a disc when there's some wear left in it. Could be cases where the pad is loose, maybe in a caliper and it's moving around a bit, but each car is different, you'd need to examine that.